Hello and welcome to a small overview of Heavy Paint 2.7.43. We have a bunch of tools here in the center. Um, I'm going to quickly run through them. So first we got hard round and then we've got a nice lasso. Uh, let's try rake and rectangle, classic, line. Um, line blend, which goes between two colors. Tree is kind of weird. Um, smudge is, is pretty fun. They're all pretty self-explanatory, um, so you can play with them. Uh, but you'll notice that some of the tools have this color randomness to them. Um, for example, the line and the circle have this... Every time I do a new stroke, there's a new different color. And I can control that with this this uh, dragger right here. So the higher up I go, the more randomness. And then the lower there uh, I go, less randomness. You can, of course, turn it all the way off. Um, and then aside from that, we have this control, it, which is our size. And it's in the center, so hopefully you will be able to see it on mobile um, if your finger is not in the way. And then in the middle we have color. You can drag it left and right for hue. And up and down is for value. Um, let's see, this one is the angle of the tool, which we're not, it's, it's kind of confusing right here because, well, it kind of makes sense. It's matching that angle, right? But we can also click on the knob to, and you see how it says follow here. That means it's following the direction of our stroke. So I can turn that off. And now the rotation directly matches I'm gonna put put the noise back up. Okay, and then let's see. Let's go back to. Oh, well, let's try ramen. What is this? Weird. It's got this weird squiggly texture. So I want to modify the texture. I'm gonna go click on this little textural area, and I can drag on the texture to change the stretching of it. Um, you can change which texture it is altogether. You can see that it, it looks sort of distorted here and I can control that with this distort slider. And you can also control the like direction of the distortion or the stretching of the distortion with this one. Uh, all right, let me go up to fan stretch. This has some textural noise on it, um, which is a different type of noise versus the, the line tool. So let me, uh, instead of dragging on this noise control, I'm gonna click on it. And you can see that it's uh, got this point color jitter and this noise texture. The thing that's happening now is the noise texture. We can also adjust the saturation of it to make it like a black and white noise. Something like that. Okay, um, so that's just some of the stuff you can do up there. You can also click on a tool twice. So since we're already on fan stretch, if I click on it again, I get some more options. Um, you know, there's opacity, randomness. Uh, you can reset the tool here with this little back button. This brings us back to uh, where we started with that tool. Um, you can click on this plus thing on the left to check out all the tools. 
Um, and of course, you can make new tool presets here by copying them. So we can say if we want a new fan, fan stretch type of thing, you can just go to the top right and hit duplicate. Now we have a copy. You can rename it cooler. OK, and then you customize it to do whatever you want it to do. Oh, oops. And then you can save it. And that'll save it for next time. Um, you can also drag these menus around. And you can resize them at the top left or the top right. Like that. Um, this color thing, you can click on the three dots to get different modes on it. Um, also, this color circle, we did the, the dragging, which controls hue and value, but you can also click on it to get the eyedropper. Let me try pencil. All right, and then let me go back into the tools. So there's some weird ones in here, like uh, there's a liquify somewhere. Where is it? Liquify. This one's kind of weird. We have smudge um, and rake. OK, and then aside from that, you can save with this little save icon on the bottom left. Um, you can switch to different pages with these arrows. Uh, it'll automatically replay, but you can skip it by clicking on the circle. And you can also see stats, like what tools you were using, um, how many times you're undoing, how many times you're eye dropping, and all sorts of fun little um, info. And when you're done, you just hit export. Pick how big you want it to be. For mobile, I usually try to keep the sizes more, you know, smaller. But on desktop, you can crank this up. And you say, OK. All right. And then just click anywhere to get out of this. You got layers here. Make new layers. Click on a layer to highlight it and then click on it again for more options. Of which there are lots. OK, so um, and then this gear icon is the last thing we'll cover right now. It just has a couple little options like how you want to customize your UI, turn stuff on or off, and just lots of little things you can play with. There's even a little timer <laughs> for figure drawing or whatever. And black and white mode if you're trying to study your, your values. Anyway, um, that covers everything I wanted to talk about for now. Hope this is a good start and uh, enjoy.